Hello, Umut here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to create another art journal page. I'm using my Moleskin sketchbook as usual and I stick two pages together to make them thicker and uh, I'm just uh, sticking a tissue paper that I got from Stamperia just to uh, get rid of this blank page uh, start uh, with uh, a texture and interest and we'll see where we go I'm sticking this tissue paper with matte medium I covered both my pages uh, and I'm going to stick it uh, from the middle using my bond folder uh, just not to have wrinkles as much as possible even if I do, I don't mind because it creates another texture. And I'll cut the excess with my hands quickly. Since this background is very strong, I need to push it back uh, just to have it in a subtle way coming through the page. I'm going to cover my page with uh, acrylic paint anyway. So I will prepare my pages as well with gesso. So this serves two purposes, uh, it uh, pushes this uh, strong background to the back and prepares my pages uh, to uh, put some acrylic paint. Today I'm going to use my Silks uh, acrylic glaze. Uh, this is wine rose, uh, kind of uh, wine color, uh, burgundy, uh, dark pinkish uh, wine color. I love this, uh, these paints because they are transparent, uh, when you apply it doesn't uh, cover all the background fully. So maybe from the camera it's not so clear but I see all this uh, background that I have at the back uh, because this uh, paint is uh, tra semi-transparent. On top it gives a very nice shimmer, very subtle, it's not so strong uh, glittery shimmer. Uh, very subtle, nice, uh, elegant shimmer. While I finish uh, painting, I can also tell you, you can find list of supplies I used in this project down below at the description area or in my blog as well as the close-up pictures. I will now give a quick dry. Now I will add another color. This is rose gold from Prima uh, Art Alchemy Metallic Acrylic Paints. They have also a very nice shimmer to them and I wanted to lighten the page a little bit uh, so I am adding this uh, with my brush here and there. This will add uh, some variety of color, uh, make it more interesting, add more uh, texture and uh, it adds a very nice shimmer. I can wipe it off uh, when I think it's too much. I am also using my brush uh, to apply my paints today because it leaves a very nice texture as well all these strokes you will see here today I'm going for a very girly page actually with all these uh, pink and rose colors and I will bring a third color this is again silk acrylic uh, glaze rusty mauve uh, as you see I am applying it with my hand uh, here and there, very little, subtle. It just uh, brings another uh, color in and uh, makes it uh, more interesting. And I think I am happy with the background at the moment. I will move to the next stage. I have this uh, gorgeous uh, decoupage paper pad. Uh, I am definitely in love with it. It's from the Santoro collection, uh, probably you know the gorgeous uh, stamps. Uh, I don't have them but uh, I am definitely uh, in awe of uh, this uh, collection. I will show you quickly all the pages actually because uh, maybe you would want to get hold of it. There are four of each of these pages uh, so you, have, uh, you get a lot uh, first of all. Uh, there are, the uh, images are glittery, they are all uh, very shiny, uh, glossy, raised, uh, embossed. There are also little elements as you see, hearts, uh, little flowers, little butterflies uh, that you can use uh, to embellish your pages. There are also sentiments uh, with love, there are uh, images with frame, without frame. Uh, 
die cut. Uh, so uh, it has many many possibilities. I'm sure uh, there are lots of stuff here to create many many projects. And I will be certainly using a lot of them uh, because uh, they are definitely gorgeous. And this is the last page. As you see again, there are many pictures. Uh, I think they are very uh, suitable for tags as well because they are smaller in size and there are many pages uh, with the same images. Uh, so let's start with the art journal. What do we take from here? I'm going to take these corners actually. Uh, probably uh, they are designed to make uh, borders. So I took four of them. Uh, to create a nice uh, frame for my art journal. They are made of little flowers. So I'm uh, sticking them with matte medium on the four corners of my page. As you see it looks super cute and uh, creates a definition. I will do some stamping before I uh, stick anything else. This is a gold uh, pigmenting from Dovecraft. I really like it, it's quite uh, defined. Uh, and I have my penny black uh, script stamp. I can uh, imagine you are having difficulty to see, but I can assure you there is gold script uh, on the page at the moment. Probably you will see better uh, from the close up pictures. Now I'm using a stencil from Caravel Studio and I am using my uh, transparent texture paste from Ranger. I use transparent uh, because uh, I am planning to color the uh, texture anyway and I would uh, prefer that uh, it takes the color uh, from the page rather than sticking something white uh, because then it will stick out uh, as white. This will dry uh, transparent. I think this stencil is very versatile. I really like it. The, the flourishes, very elegant. Uh, and uh, I think you can use it in many projects. I, I already used it. Uh, probably in, it was in my canvases, one of my canvases that uh, I made a video. And uh, I covered my two pages quite a lot because I'm planning to put my embellishments on these. And also I'm uh, giving a little bit more interest here and there on the borders too. I think it looks fantastic. I really like the shape of it. As you see when it dried, it dried clear and took the uh, color from the uh, base uh, color of the page. Now I'm going to give some uh, shimmer to it and color. I'm using the same color that I used on the background, rose gold from Prima. I'm using my brush to color all these uh, flourishes. It doesn't take long because uh, I'm not paying so much attention if I'm in the line, outside the line, it goes to the page or not. This is an art journal, it's not for perfection. And also it's a nice texture, uh, if it's not perfect anyway. Here is how it looks, I'm really happy with it. Now it's time to stick my uh, gorgeous girl uh, and my sentiment. Uh, as a sentiment I chose a, a chipboard uh, today uh, because I think uh, this girl is really breathtaking and I had this chipboard uh, definitely I said I need to put this as a sentiment. Uh, I am just uh, coloring it with the same rose gold color from Prima. I didn't gesso it before I think it took the paint uh, quite well. Now I'm uh, sticking one of the girls from the sheet that you saw before. I'm using my matte medium again. And I am sticking this chipboard uh, as well with a uh, matte medium. Uh, I have matte medium in this uh, bottle just with a fine tip applicator. It's fluid version. Uh, it's really good for uh, small areas. And uh, I'm taking other embellishments from the same sheet uh, just to uh, put some interest on the page. This is a flower I took and this is a butterfly. Uh, it's really good that there are multiples of the same uh, image. 
so you can take uh, many of them and uh, I took a little heart and stick it uh, on my flourish I took another uh, little flower and sticked it to the other uh, I continue uh, putting some uh, butterflies uh, I will change the place of this uh, flower and replace it with a butterfly I think it's uh, much more prominent the butterfly and I'll stick another heart it's uh, really hard to stop actually all the uh, images that I see are gorgeous so I want to stick all of them uh, but I need to stop so uh, as a last embellishment uh, I took some sparklets uh, these are by Kaiser Craft, basically blinks uh, that has uh, colors uh, that are similar uh, to the ones on the page again I stick them on my flourishes to give some interest I am also using my Wink of Stella clear glitter pen uh, to go over my butterflies and flowers. And now I am using my Faber Castell uh, brush pen uh, going around the girl just to do some shading and uh, blend her in better to the background uh, so that it looks a little bit more realistic and uh, a part of the background. I'm using Koput Morto as a color. I will also do a little bit splashes to bring everything together uh, using the same color. I colored uh, everything rose gold. And finally, uh, I'm giving a little bit border uh, to my page uh, with black uh, distress ink. Just going around the edges very lightly. And my page is finished. Uh, I really love uh, the colors and the girl, all the embellishments, uh, this uh, shimmery look uh, and how girly it is. Uh, it's a nice change. I hope you like it too. You can see the close-up pictures. I think it will show better in my blog. Reminding again, you will find full list of supplies down below at the description area or at my blog. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me thumbs up down below or subscribe to my channel. This way I know how much you like my videos and I keep doing them. I also love reading your comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.